Hi guys, Arnold Broad here with another news update on men's health. And in this issue, we are going to be talking about are vitamins any good for erectile dysfunction? And if they are, what ones are the best? Or is there one that's the best? If you'd like to see other videos about men's health, just click on that arrow to view my channel. So let's start by talking about what are the numbers behind ED. We have a 40% rate of ED among men older than 40, and we have a 70% rate of ED among men older than 70. Now, when they talk about these numbers, they're not talking about having ED 100% of the time. There's, there's, a, there's a continuum. Some men aren't able to have an erection or maintain one all of the time. Some men, 25, 30% of the time, 40% of the time. So all of these guys are lumped into these figures. Now, if you have any questions about what we're going to be talking about, you could always give me a call at 609-410-4790. Now, the best way to, to prevent or reverse ED is through lifestyle choices, such as proper nutrition, when you talk about proper nutrition, it's kind of what your mother told you, you know, eat your fruits and vegetables. Try to minimize fast foods, processed foods, as much natural foods as you can get. Certainly exercise, um, you know, sitting around all day, working, um, coming home, watching TV, being with your family is is all great, but if you don't exercise your body, you're gonna lose a lot of the functions that you have. And last, maintaining proper weight. What we find is that as your weight goes up, especially when it goes up into the quote-unquote obese range, the incidence of ED skyrockets. Now, something that's not talked about hardly ever and I've watched a bunch of these videos on YouTube and I don't see people talking about it. ED is a symptom of an underlying problem. Granted, it's a pain in the neck symptom, but it's a symptom of something else that's happening in your body that needs to be corrected. Because what happens is that you take a pill to make the symptom go away, but over time, the underlying problem gets worse and those pills don't work anymore. Now, we were talking about are vitamins any good? And one of the big ones they found is vitamin D can be associated or is associated with erectile dysfunction. Now, what they did is they studied 3,400 American men who were 20 years of age or older and this is important, they didn't have heart disease because heart disease in and of itself is a contributor to ED. So 3,400 men, they looked at, figured out what was going on. And what they found was that for the men who had low levels by blood testing of vitamin D, 32% were more likely to be impotent than those who had good levels of vitamin D. So what that would mean to me is that one, get tested for vitamin D. Two, if you find you're low in vitamin D, take some, take supplements or get out in the sun or do both, but raise your levels of vitamin D because a third greater risk is, is pretty high. Now, I was talking that ED is a symptom and what you want to be able to do is reverse the underlying issues and the underlying issues are cardiovascular issues and if you'd like to see a really good video on something called nitric oxide therapy which helps reverse a lot of the cardiovascular issues for erectile dysfunction then just click on that arrow or follow the link below this video. If you have any questions about any of this, as I said before, just give me a call, 609-410-4790.
a lot of the information from this video came from webmd.com and you can see the link below this video also. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching the video. I want you to have a great day and here's to your good health.